Hello, this is Priscilla with Scylla Travel, helping you live the dream through travel. Okay, today, this is this is just a, a quick tip video uh, in light of the air traffic and flight challenges we have been seeing. And since we're coming up on the holiday, I figured this is the best time for me to share these tips. So hang on. Okay, so this is the season of revenge travel, and it's also the season of Armageddon. So um, a couple of things are causing those challenges, um, and different entities are going back and forth pointing the finger. It's probably a little bit of a lot of different things. Uh, the airlines, number one, are saying, hey, um, we have pilot shortages because of the great resignation, great retirement. However, in the back of our minds, we remember that they got that bailout money so that they could retain employees. So it looks like they may have had a loophole in order to do these buyouts. Um, I don't know, but it's looking kind of fishy to me because people need to travel, especially now, and they're not up to the task. They're all also pointing the finger at the FAA because the FAA, that's the federal agency that oversees all the flights and the air traffic and all that stuff, they're pointing the finger at them saying that, hey, they're understaffed too, which is um, causing uh, delays and it's also causing uh, you know, poor, you know, performance and service of in air traffic control. And they're the ones telling us that we need to cancel these flights because of weather reasons. So everybody's pointing the finger. Then we have some pilots picketing. They're planning to picketing, excuse me, planning to picket from Delta Airlines because they're saying the pilots are overworked. Yeah, I believe they're overworked because they're understaffed, not just the pilots, but other airline workers as well. So in order to navigate these uh, post-pandemic uh, travel hurdles to jump over, I'm going to give you some tips, seven tips, because, yeah, the pandemic is on the decline. However, the impacts are not. We're still feeling them well after the COVID numbers have gone down. It's still out there, but we have tools to manage it. So tip number one. Hire a travel professional, hire a travel advisor, or even hire a travel agent. There's some distinction between them. I'm not going to go into it in this video, maybe another video. I will. And just check out my post where I explain the differences. However, hire a travel professional to plan your trip because you will have a person to help you in case you run into an issue like with uh, the airlines or your hotel or a combination of things because your air gets canceled or pushed out. Okay, tip number two, avoid traveling during the holidays. I know it's a little bit too late for some people and some people just don't have any other time to travel. I mean, it's summertime. Uh, but if you must travel, make sure that you take some extra time off from work so you can build in that buffer in case you're not back on time. And also make sure that you plan an extra day or two before and after your actual travel dates. Because if you're waiting to travel during the holiday, that's just not going to work out too good for you. As we can see, there are just a little too many delays, too many cancellations. Okay, now tip number three fly as early as possible. Zero dark 30, I like to call it. So my daughter and lovely assistant, Caitlin, she flew this morning to Zambia. Actually, she went to JFK and uh, she's going to be meeting up with another group and they're flying out tomorrow to go to Zambia. Okay. So she's flying out today to New York and then they're going to leave tomorrow to go to Zambia. But now, um, like I said, take the earliest flights of possible the earliest flights possible in the morning and fly nonstop when it's possible. I know it's not possible 
at all times, but the fewer the hops, the better. If you're flying early and something happens, which happened to my daughter's flight, it was delayed, but she was there early enough. And thank God she did not have another flight to connect to today. So um, remember to do that. Take the earliest flight possible. And if you can fly nonstop, do it. Another thing you can do, which is tip number four, if you're close enough and it's possible, drive to an international airport. If you leave in the country for a trip, uh, drive to that hub rather than flying from your regional airport to the international um, um, airport. Because if something goes wrong with the hop, then that'll delay your trip. And because they don't have enough flights, you may not make it. Okay, tip number five, don't purchase basic economy tickets. Okay, purchase main cabin because basic economy does not come with the flexibility to change in most counts, right? In most cases. So fly main cabin, you can always upgrade your ticket when it's actually time to fly. Okay. Tip number six, avoid online travel agencies. Book the air directly from the airline because you're when you go online, these air, these websites, they're actually uh, online travel agencies. So they're between you and the airline and you and the hotel and you and the car rental place. And you don't read all of those terms and conditions. And if you're not paying attention, you could be stuck. It's like you're prepaying. You can't get your money back. And let's say that there's something going on with your ticket, your air ticket, and you get to the desk, uh, um, the airline desk, the desk person can't help you because you need to have a travel advisor that you can call or that person to fix it for you. Those online travel agencies and websites, they don't do that for you. You're just, they're not designed to. You're on your own. It's like a self-serve DIY deal. You don't get support. Okay, now tip number six please don't buy those non-refundable hotel rates. I know that's not related to the air, but it is because let's say that you your, your um, flight gets pushed out for a day. Well, you prepaid for your ticket, right? Your hotel, right? So um, if it's non-refundable, you can't change your hotel. You can't slide it out, you know? So don't book those. And those, you see a lot of those on those online travel agencies as well. So don't book theirs. Don't book that. And the last tip, which is actually tip number eight, buy travel insurance. That'll protect your entire trip. I know they have, the airlines are offering these um, travel waiver plus deals, but that only covers the flight, but it doesn't cover anything else. So remember, hire a travel professional, number one. Number two, avoid traveling on the holidays. Number three, take the earliest flights possible and fly nonstop. Number four, drive to an international hub uh, instead of taking a hop from a regional airport. Number five, don't buy basic economy tickets. Purchase main cabin tickets. Number six, avoid online travel agencies and book your air directly from the airline. Number seven, do not book non-refundable hotel rates. They're also called deals, okay? And number eight, buy travel insurance. There's also one more bonus hire a travel professional. So that's all I had for you today. This is Priscilla with Scylla Travel, hoping that you have a great rest of your day. Thought I would just share some tips with you how to navigate the air Armageddon. And um, I'm glad that you had a little bit of time to watch me now, or maybe when you do, it'll be early morning, maybe lunchtime, maybe dinner time, maybe early afternoon, whenever you're whenever and wherever you get a chance to watch. Thank you for watching me. This is Priscilla with Silla Travel signing off. Hoping you have a great rest of your day. And remember, as always, live the dream. Bye-bye.